Leading a new generation of stallions making their impact on the Australian breeding scene is dawn of a new day. This striking son of Western Ideal was an outstanding stakes performer at both two and three, who was a fierce competitor. Dawn of a new day turned in this incredible performance at Woodbine in just his second lifetime start. They enter the final eighth of the mile from a long way back, dawn of a new day. He could circle the field. He's got the momentum. He's come from last. He's picking them all up. Dawn of a new day sweeps the field for Keith Oliver, last to first winner over 11 a.m. Dawn of a new day and Campbell have come from an enormously long way back and they slingshot it off the final turn to win the Metro Consolation over Mr. Delight. Dawn of a new day raced against and defeated many of the best two and three year old Grand Circuit Colts of his era, including such top performers as Rock and Roll Hanover, Village Schult and Lisa Mara. In this exciting edition of the two-year-old champion stakes, Dawn of a New Day duels with Rock and Roll Hanover down the stretch in a thrilling dead heat win. Dawn of a New Day is readying to strike from second over. 124 and 3 down the stretch in the first division of the 2004 Champlain Stakes. Rock and Roll Hanover, Dawn of a New Day. Two great two year olds through the stretch. Dawn of a New Day takes the late stretch lead. McCabe Hall has come back on through. Dawn of a New Day, Rock and Roll Hanover is battling back. Rock and Roll Hanover battling back against Dawn of a New Day. Very close in the Champlain Stakes. Dawn's three-year-old season was punctuated with this stakes and track record in the $500,000 Husia Cup. As they come to the 16th pole, it's Dawn of a New Day. Dawn of a New Day will win the Hoosier Cup in 150 and a three. Dawn of a New Day's siring career has had a tremendous start, launched by the superstar Colt Royal Verdict from his very first crop to race in 2010. A multiple Group 1 winner, Royal Verdict's wins included the Australian Pacing Gold Final, the Vic Red Final, and the Australasian Breeders' Crown. Royal Verdict about to get the run from a bet or punt. Sushi Sushi led. Royal Verdict's coming through. It's Sushi Sushi. Royal Verdict is coming at him fast. Royal Verdict exploding through on the inside. Grab the lead. And Royal Verdict wins it from Sushi Sushi. Devilish smile in front, but Royal Verdict moves up on the outside. Farmers and tradies the middle. Modern slipper wider out with break of night. Royal Verdict ran to the lead from Devilish smile. is kicking back. Ronald George for the clouds. In front, Royal Verdict. Royal Verdict. Royal Verdict has won. Royal Verdict was proclaimed Australia's two-year-old Colt of the Year following this championship season. Royal Verdict, devilish smile, behind them is Just Grange, Sushi Sushi's bursting into the clear, narrow leader was Royal Verdict, Just Grange's diving missed. Getting up to win was Royal Verdict over Just Grange, Sushi Sushi and devilish smile in a great go to the wire. Another exceptional winner from this first crop is the multiple stakes winning Philly Beach Melody. And and on the outside, Beach Melody got a neck in front, trying to kick back the ex-Kiwi Dream Verdict. Beach Melody's in front. Dream Verdict won't be denied. She's trying hard, but Beach Melody is very good, and she's going to make it two for two. And it's the favourite, Beach Melody, well out in front. She extends out to ten now. On in second, Kai Sirasa Rolombo, then came Well Hello Dolly. But it's all Beach Melody. It's raced away, and it's going to bolt in. Winner $1.50 or $1.60, this is the way they should win every time. Fu Manchu, High Rising and Uncle Lyle are from Dawn of a New Day's second crop of two-year-olds racing in 2011. High Rising showcases his talent in a heat of the New South Wales Breeders' Challenge. High Rising's driver Steve Harris had a look over his shoulder. There's no danger at the moment. High Rising's clear. Light in every day and just your star, but High Rising's going to win it. High Rising races home. Fu Manchu is impressive in winning a Vic Bread semi-final. Fu Manchu's into the clear and then came in the frame Lombo. Philadelphia man in front. Mr. Nickel not in it. It's uh, getting through now. Fanagalo. Philadelphia man tackled by Fanagalo. Down the outside Fu Manchu. Dawn of a new day's pedigree should be of particular interest to Australia breeders. He is by the US boom sire Western Ideal and out of a 151 stakes winning Falcon Seals to Meal Dawn Q who earned nearly 400,000 at two and three. An athletic magnificent looking dark bay stallion. Dawn of a new day is now a proven young sire with extraordinary potential based on his first foals to race. With a two-year-old of the year and many other top stakes performers already to his credit, the sky is the limit for this great stallion.